Hi, I'm George, and you're watching The Return of the King Channel. A comet is approaching Earth, and it's being called the Devil Comet, because as it approaches, twin tails, which look like horns, have been appearing. As if things didn't seem apocalyptic enough already, scientists reported that a horned comet, three times bigger than Mount Everest, exploded and is hurtling toward Earth. The blast originated on October 5th from 12P uh, Pons Brooks, a cryovolcano. So for the uninitiated, this is a cold volcano, which erupts with ice instead of fire. So this particular comet measured a whopping 18.6 miles in diameter, the size of a small city. For reference, Mount Everest, the highest mountain on Earth, is just over 29,000 feet higher, about 5.5 miles. The British Astronomical Association, which is closely monitoring 12P, were made aware of this explosion after noticing that it appeared dozens of times brighter due to the light reflected by its coma. And the coma is the cloud of gas surrounding its center. This instance was particularly unique because the Arctic blast created the shape of what looked like horns, like some intergalactic Yazel bub, or some experts have compared it to the Millennium Falcon. An intriguing perspective on this comet. He referred to it as an intergalactic Beelzebub. Little does he realize that this comet is precisely that. The timing and location of this comet's appearances makes the name quite apt, as you will soon discover. This is the view of the heavens during the April 8, 2024 eclipse from Little Egypt, Illinois. Above the eclipse is the Horned Comet, now being referred to as the Devil Comet. Throughout history, comets have been seen as omens of impending disaster by various cultures, including the ancient Jews, who perceived them as heavenly beings descending from the sky to earth. Isaiah 14.12 speaks of Lucifer falling from heaven. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus tells his disciples, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. The comet's tail, constantly oriented away from the sun, creates the illusion of it descending toward earth. As people witness the spectacular occurrence, it's not surprising that ancient cultures often interpreted comets as heavenly beings falling from the skies. To the left of the comet, there is what appears to be a bright star. The position of the star cannot be dismissed as mere coincidence, nor can the constellation in which they both appear. Now I watched when the Lamb opened one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures say with a voice like thunder, Come. The tribulation commences when the Lamb opens the first of seven seals, releasing the four horsemen. And I looked, and behold, a white horse, and its rider had a bow, and a crown was given to him. And he came out conquering and to conquer. Ares, the constellation of the Lamb, is called Tale in Hebrew, which means Lamb. Appearing within Ares is Jupiter, the man-child, the Christian from the Revelation 12 sign, whom the dragon, the devil, wants to devour. But the child is caught up to God and his throne, raptured. From the day the first of the heavenly signs found in Revelation chapter 12 appeared, which was on September 23, 2017. It has been six years, six months, and six days. Encoded within this time period is the number of the beasts found in Revelation chapter 13, 666. The comet will coincide with the third and final eclipse to appear over America. The paths of all three eclipses collectively form the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, Aleph. And the first and last eclipse form the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet, the Tav, in Greek, the Omega. In Revelation 22, 12, and 13, Jesus proclaims, Behold, I am coming soon, and my reward is with me, to repay each one for what he has done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. The eclipses occur over America because America was set up by the Founding Fathers to bring about the New World Order headed up by the Antichrist. Our escape is from the Dragon and the One World Government led by the Antichrist. The intersection of the two eclipses occurs in an area that is known as Little Egypt. On April 10, 2024, a horned comet dubbed the Devil Comet will appear between the New Moon and Jupiter in the constellation of the Lamb counting from the true date of Pentecost, which, in the Book of Jubilees, is always the 15th day of the third month on the Jewish calendar. It is 665 days. 
In the fall of 2020, I had two dreams about the rapture. The first dream's completion coincides with the April 8th eclipse. The countdown to the dream's fulfillment began 665 days ago on Pentecost. Dream number two finds its completion with the moon in the constellation of Aries. I had asked the Lord if the moon in the constellation of Aries has anything to do with the rapture. That night, I dreamt of a divine wedding in heaven. The Israelites were given three days to prepare to meet with God at Mount Sinai. The April 8, 2024 eclipse, accompanied by the Devil Comet, signifies to the Bride of Christ that she has three days to prepare to meet her groom, Christ the Lamb. The intersection of the eclipses occurs in Little Egypt because what happened in Egypt is a model or type of the rapture. At the Exodus, God supernaturally took the Israelites out of Egypt, symbolizing the world. Likewise, at the rapture, God supernaturally takes us out of the world. After they are taken out of Egypt, they meet with God. At the rapture, we meet with God. First, we meet with Christ in the air. Then, according to Revelation 12, 5, we are taken to God and his throne in heaven. Revelation 4.10 tells us that the 24 elders, who are the church, the Christians, are at the throne bowing down and worshiping him who is seated on the throne. God wanted the Israelites to be prepared ahead of time to meet with him. In Exodus 19, 9-11, we find out just how much time they have to prepare. When Moses told the words of the people to the Lord, the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow, and let them wash their garments and be ready for the third day. For on the third day the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. If we use the same method of counting that God used, then the day the eclipse occurred is day 1, April 8th, day 2 is the 9th, and day 3, the 10th the day the comet appears between the moon and Jupiter. The two different dates for the rapture that the dreams are pointing to now make sense. The first dream is to get ready. The second, when the moon is in the constellation of the Lamb, is the day of the wedding. That is, if the war in the heavens doesn't cause a delay. It's in the same chapter as the rapture in Revelation chapter 12 for a reason. In the parable of the ten virgins, they knew when the bridegroom was to arrive. In fact, they knew he was late. In the book of Daniel, the response to Daniel's prayer is delayed 21 days because the angelic messenger must fight a war with the prince of Persia. Revelation chapter 12 is about our escape from the dragon who wants to devour us, the Christian. Satan, the devil, symbolized by the horned comet, is positioned between the moon, a symbol of Messiah according to the ancient Jewish rabbis, and Jupiter symbolizing the Christian, Christ's bride from the Revelation 12 sign. In Revelation chapter 12, not only does the dragon want to devour the Christian, but it also appears that at or prior to the rapture, a war will break out in the heavens. The dragon will attempt to stop the wedding from occurring, but he will fail, and he and his rebel army will be cast out of heaven and thrown down to the earth. Does the war, a battle in the heavens, cause a delay as it did when Daniel prayed? Does the war cause our bridegroom to be delayed? It may, I don't believe it will, but you need to be ready for that possibility. The Bible doesn't explicitly disclose whether we can identify the day of the rapture. Instead, it encourages us to remain vigilant and watch for his approaching arrival. This is precisely what I'm engaged in, and I'm eager to share my findings with you. If you're intrigued by my work, be sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video. Doing so helps it reach a wider audience of those who share similar interests. For newcomers to this channel, make sure to watch all the videos in the playlist titled The Eclipse of April 2024 and the Rapture. To enhance your experience, start with the foundational video titled The Exodus, The Eclipses, and the Rapture. It delves into the reasons behind my anticipation of the rapture happening shortly after the April 2024 eclipse, offering a moderate yet comprehensive overview. Future videos expand on these concepts, assuming a solid understanding of the discussed basics. Thanks for reviewing and stay tuned for more fascinating discoveries.